the third final examination of the conservatory students in public took place on the 7th of July, 1898. Jan Kubelik said farewell to the conservatory by playing Paganini's Concerto in D Major at the Prague Rudolfinum. Three months later, he appeared as a soloist in a people's concert in Prague, and in November, he conquered Vienna. Richard Heuberger wrote in the Neue Freie Presse, there has been no such phenomenon since Paganini. In the Middle Ages, Kubelik would have been burnt at the stake as a witch. And now I'm in Vienna, uh, where actually Jan Kubelik started his career, I once heard. The people I've met in Vienna said, oh, Jan Kubelik, you know, that sort of thing. They were, they heard him play and they were simply uh, fascinated. He first met the Hungarian Countess Mariana Sell on the 4th of March, 1900. She had already been unhappily married for a year to the Hussar Lieutenant, Count Kola Manchaki. But her divorce, according to Hungarian law, was not valid in Austria. So the lovelorn Jan got a lawyer at Great Varad to adopt him formally, and thus he acquired Hungarian citizenship. The wedding took place on the 25th of August, 1903, in Debrecen. Kubelik was 23 years old. He was an honorary member of the Philharmonic Society in London, and he had scored an unbelievable success on his first American tour. The new world welcomed him in style. 300 hired blacks threw themselves in the harbor, shouting, the violin king is coming, and swam towards the steamship. The 5,325 listeners at the Hippodrome in New York on the 10th of November, 1907, was an incredible number. On Christmas Eve, a few years later, however, Kubelik played to 100,000 people gathered in a square in San Francisco. Jan Kubelik měl sice nesmírně ušlechtilý, ale také nesmírně znělý tón. Tak měl překrásný vzácný nástroj, Stradivari Emperor. Kubelik's violin was an attraction in itself. Antonius Stratovarius, the master of Cremona, built it in 1715 during his best period. This instrument, called the Emperor, was considered the best in the world and was bought for Kubelik by the violin maker William Hill of London at a public auction of the Haddock Collection in Leeds. Jan Kubelik paid the then huge sum of 100,000 Austrian crowns for it. Soon after that, in America, he was offered $600,000. Vzpomínám na jednu vzpomínku Alfreda Holečka, pianisty, dlouholetého doprovazeče Jana Kubelíka. Ten nám jenom vypravoval, že v těch těžkých dobách, kdy Jan Kubelík měl určité obtíže finanční i různé jiné, se vyjádřil v tom smyslu, že řekl, víte, to jediné, co se mně v životě podařilo, to byl Rafael. Kublik, a Czech violinist whose fame was greater than Paganini's, one of the first virtuoso players who became a real star of the 20th century, closed his career in Prague in the season of 1939-1940 by a cycle of ten concerts in which he summarized his lifelong work. <laughs> 